Alfred Wegener and Continental Drift by Connor Leach Alfred Wegener was a scientist who created the theory of continental drift in the 1920s. When he looked at the map of the world, he said it looked like a jigsaw puzzle and was intrigued by the idea that all the continents were once together. He even gave the landmass a name, Pangaea. Wegener provided much evidence as to how the different continents were once together. One piece of evidence was matching coal beds in North America and Europe. Another piece was similar mountains in North America, Africa, and South America, with equally aged rock. His last piece of evidence was four different fossils, each on at least two different continents. One of the species, the Glossopteris, a plant, was found in South America, Africa, India, Australia, and in and Antarctica. He also found fossil evidence of the Synogathus and the Mesosaurus on South America and Africa. The Lystrinathus was found in Africa, India, and Antarctica. Wegener theorized that tidal and centrifugal forces pushed the continents through the Earth's crust. At the time, he didn't know about the theory of plate tectonics. Since his ideas challenged what geologists had learned in the past 70 years, geologists dismissed it quite quickly. As a geologist that was definitely against the theory of continents drift, Barry Wilson and other geologists were backing him were satisfied when the theory's overall discussion was stopped. It wasn't until the 1950s that the discussion of continental drift was restarted. Geologists claimed that there was no real proof that a fossil found on two different continents was due to continental drift. Some scientists, in fact, stated that land bridges rose above the water and land animals crossed over to other continents by these land bridges. Most geologists today have come to accept the theory of continental drift, and is, it came about due to much research of the ocean floors in the 1950s. The second person that proved Alfred Wegener's theory was Harry Hess. Harry Hess was sent to map the ocean floor by the U.S. Navy, and while doing this, he noticed the different ages in the rock that he was studying. At some intervals, he noticed that their magnetic banding was mixed and matched. What he thought was creating this band were mid-ocean ridges. He saw underwater mountain ranges and noticed the farther away the rock was from the ridge, the older it was. Everyone at the time thought the ocean floor was flat. To explain the evidence he found, Hess developed the theory of seafloor spreading. Harry Hess proved Alfred Wegener's theory was right and also gave us the idea of plate tectonics. His idea gave geologists a reason to believe Alfred Wegener. Both their theories give us an explanation of earthquakes and volcanoes.